Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with a haul today. I've got a few bits from Primark that I wanted to show you. And I've also got a couple of bits that I bought from the Chelsea Flower Show and also a few PR bits at the end. So I thought I would just bring it all together and share it all with you in one haul. And we'll just sit down, enjoy a cup of coffee or whatever drink you fancy and go through the bits. I am rather tired this morning. It is bank holiday Monday. I'm gonna have a quick sip. And just know that this isn't gonna hit the spot because it's instant decaf. <laughs> I need to go out and get proper coffee um, after I finished filming. I think it's a beautiful sunny day outside. So yeah, once I've filmed this, I wanna put all these bits away. I have got two bags from Primark, but not loads in them. Um, yeah, I went to Primark with Luke recently. We went to the one on Tottenham Court Road, I think that's a really good Primark. Um, if you're heading to London to visit a Primark, I prefer that one to the one at the other end of Oxford Street. But yeah, I'm a bit tired this morning. It's been a very, very busy week of filming. I had the Chelsea Flower Show as well this week, and then I've been doing Sort Your Life Out, and also did Steph's Pack Lunch on Friday, and then I filmed right the way across the weekend, so we just finished filming sort your life out episode one yesterday so yes very busy week and i have been very tired and i think it might be to do with hay fever that is what i'm putting it down to i feel like at this time of year there's some sort of pollen in the air that just makes me feel completely wiped out like i could literally be talking to you right now and then just be like <sighs> So I'll try not to do that in the video. <laughs> we'll try and stay awake. Um, and yeah, we'll just get straight into the haul. I need another quick sip, I do apologise. Um, you have one too, and then we'll get straight into it. Mm. Right, apologies about the bang as well. Bank holiday Monday, but neighbours are continuing to do building work. But we move. Right then, Primark. First of all, I picked up some of these sliders for the, oh, they've got cat hair on them. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. I got these because I thought they would be really handy for just going in and out of the roof garden. I am in and out a lot more now, watering the plants of an evening, so it's just something that I can quickly pop on. And they're these really kind of chunky ones. They're just made out of this kind of rubbery plastic. And I went for them in this kind of really pale, like off-white color. They had them in loads of different colors. They had them in black and some bright colors as well, gray as well, I think. And these are, how much are you? Can't see the price on them. I think they were six pounds. And I got them in a size nine. So I've sized down on these because, yeah, they come up quite big. So I would size down or try them on in store um, if you're thinking of getting a pair. And they're made out of um, recycled um, vinyl as well. So yeah, they're for the roof garden. And I also picked up some of these sandals. These are very similar to Birkenstocks, aren't they? They're just the really simple two strap with the buckles that you can adjust um, the width. And I went for black. They had these in uh, brown as well. And I'm guessing they've got these in the women's department too. I think they're pretty much a Primark staple. And I've had them before and they lasted really well. And they're so much cheaper than Birkenstocks. And considering the amount of wear I get out of them, I'm not really going to invest in a pair of Birkenstocks right now because, yeah, I don't wear these an awful lot. Um, but I do like to have them in my wardrobe, especially to take on holiday with me. And these are 10 pounds, so yeah, a massive saving compared to Birkenstocks. And yeah, really comfortable. So I thought black would be a quite a good color to take away with me on holiday, because you can kind of wear them with anything, can't you? And then I bought, in the sale, this was a bargain, this jumper, this was down to seven pounds, I think. Yeah, seven pounds from 16. I got it in a size large, so it's nice and, Nice and comfy, and it's just a zip up with the um, collar, and then you've got a bit of detail on here. It says Athletic Club um, 1984. There we go. And um, some detail on the back, and then nice stripes on the cuff and around the um, bottom here. So it's really nice and soft, and just a nice kind of, well, I was going to say hoodie. It's like a hoodie essentially, isn't it? It's one of those things that you just want to throw on when you want to be comfortable. So I think I'll probably get a lot of wear out of that throughout the summer as a extra layer when um, the sun's starting to go down, you just want something to throw on. And then I also picked up this shirt. Primark have got some great shirts in at the moment and I really like the look of this one. And this was from the Chem range and it was 14 pounds and it's this kind of silky material. 
and it's borderline a pyjama top, which I am here for, because <laughs> they're nice and comfortable. And yeah, I thought that was quite stylish. I like, again, the fact that it's got detail all the way around and then going up the buttons as well. I just think that makes it look a lot more expensive than it is. And I quite like the um, print on this as well. It's giving me Hermes vibes, what do we think? And the colour is kind of like a navy blue and then a kind of cream off-white, in case it's not picking up on camera. Um, right, what should I show you next? Let's go into, that's one bit we've got from Primark. Not loads. I did get another shirt actually that I've been wearing, so I think that's in the wash. Um, but maybe I'll try and pop a picture up of it. Um, it's nice and summery. And yeah, let me show you the bits that I got from the Chelsea Flower Show. So just in case you missed that vlog, I had the best day ever. It's honestly one of my favourite days, favourite vlogs. I had a great time with Dainty. Um, we just had a blast at the Chelsea Flower Show. And then we went on to a cat and kitten cafe as well. So do have a look at that vlog in case you missed it. I know lots of you watched it and commented that you really enjoyed it as well. So I'm really pleased that I was able to document that day because it's a really lovely one to look back on. And whilst we were looking around the shop area, a lot of you were quite interested in the shop area because it's not the area that you see on the TV, but there is lots of shops at the Chelsea Flower Show. And I'd had a PIMS, so I got a little bit shop happy. I didn't get loads actually. <laughs> but you know when you've had a PIMS <laughs> and you hit the shops, if you've ever done that, you'll know what I'm talking about. Things fall into the basket a lot easier, don't they? And this fell into my basket. I couldn't resist this mug. It's absolutely beautiful. And I've got this one out today to drink my coffee from just to show you because I bought it in this particular size so that it matches this one that I already have. So this is from Sophie Allport and I already had this mug and let me just show you this in close up, I'll have another sip actually. <laughs> so here we are. And oh gosh that was a big gulp, I hope you didn't hear that. I need all the coffee even though it's decaf. Um, this is a beautiful Chelsea Flower Show mug. And I just really like the design on this, with the little gate going in there and the bunting. And inside it actually says um, Chelsea Flower Show 2023. So I've got a really nice memory of that day. And yeah, it goes with the other one that I've got already. I did pick up a larger one of this and I swapped it at the last second so I wanted to make sure that they matched um, or were the same size, you know. So yeah, very pleased with that and a really nice memory of that day. It was such a lovely day. Um, let me know if you've been, I think quite a few of you have been and now a few of you fancy going having watched the vlog or it's already been on your list of somewhere that you wanted to go to. Um, so yeah, let me know if you went this year as well and how you found it. And then I also picked up this really sweet little ornament. What would you call that? I don't know, it's just a hanging heart. They had mugs as well, and they had uh, pet bowls as well, really sweet, but just with the little kitten. So we have pumpkin or mittens on here. I could have got two, but they would have been identical, and I feel like if I buy things that replicate pumpkin or mittens, I want them to be slightly different than each other. So yeah, buying two exactly the same didn't kind of work for that, but really sweet. And I just thought I'd hang this, maybe like on a door or something, just underneath the door handle, just thought it was really cute, or on one of the um, uh, draw, draw knobs or knobs on the shutters, look quite cute. Yeah, I thought that was fab. It's just really nice the way it's kind of raised out of the glaze. And I think these are all handmade as well. I've forgotten the name of this um, company, so um, yeah, if I can find it, I'll link it in the description box in case you're interested, because they had li really lovely um, gift ideas, I thought, because they had lots of different animals, um, different flowers, so you know, if somebody had a favourite something, you'd probably find it in one of their designs, so it does make a really lovely gift. And yeah, that's all I got from the Chelsea Flower Show. They had some really nice um, bits for the garden. They had really nice kind of animals made out of metal that rust and dainty bought a hedgehog and so it comes like in silver metal that it will rust and get a lovely orangey colour um, in the garden and they had oh, just so many things that if you've got a garden or even a small outdoor space window box that you would want to get but you know the overwhelm um, strike struck struck <laughs> and then it was like time to go to the kitten cafe so 
yes, um, I was quite restrained actually. Um, I've also got a few bits of PR to show you. Um, so Next sent me over a bag with a few bits from their summer range in and I went along to the summer press show, gosh it was quite a few weeks back now and yeah was really impressed with a lot of their things. I feel like they've gone for some really kind of nice classic timeless designs um, this summer. So I thought I'd show you the bits that they've sent over starting off with this bag which is also a backpack so I love this, it's really versatile because you've got the zip going across the top, it's full of the other bits that they sent me so I'll get those out show you in a moment. So you've got the two straps, so you can carry it like this, so kind of like a shopper, or you could sling your laptop in there I guess, if you're just heading somewhere to work. And so you have these two straps here, and then you can pull this down, like this. Oh hang on, let me just put that into the middle, I'll pull them at the same time, there we go. And then this becomes a backpack as well, and you can adjust these straps here. So a really versatile bag, and yeah, I'll show you the inside as we go through it. I'll just get all the bits out, um, first of all. So they sent me over a few clothing items as well. They sent over this, it's like a two-piece shirt and short set. And I quite like these for summer. Although they borderline remind me of wearing like a... I don't know, like a child's romper, so <laughs> I have to have to watch how I style them. I think sometimes um, it's quite nice to put a t-shirt underneath and wear the shirt open just to break it up a bit, otherwise it can look a bit like you're wearing like a baby grow <laughs> or something like that. Um, but yeah, nice design on this, just nice with the blues, and it's really lovely um, soft fabric. I think this is probably um, linen. Um, I'll, I'll pop all these in the description box if I can find them. I've got this in a size large, I quite like a size large for um, shirts like this in the summer just so that they're nice and comfortable. And I've got the shorts in here too, so yeah these are just elasticated waist and then a drawstring, so really casual for the shorts. So I think this is very much kind of beach vibes, I'm not sure if I'd wear that around the city to be honest with you because the pockets are quite loose and flappy and yeah elasticated waist as I say, but really nice. Um, will be lovely to take on holiday actually, really nice and light, you know when it's really hot or just to wear around the house, to be honest you could probably wear that almost as a pyjama set too, because it's nice and soft. Um, they've also sent over some socks, <laughs> I don't feel like these are um, ideal for summer I have to say, um, so I'll be popping these away for the autumn but they're very nice socks as far as socks go, you've got the different colours here, these are all cotton rich and it says Active freshness, um, it's been given an anti-microbial treatment to prevent the development of odour which helps to keep them smelling fresh, so there we go. Um, these are quite nice for wearing in boots aren't they, this kind of sock. And they're thick but they're not too thick, so they're not going to make you, um, you know, your boots feel too tight when you're wearing those. So yeah, perfect for autumn, I'll be popping those away. And then they sent over another shirt. And this one's this kind of waffle fabric, which is rather nice, just in this cream colour. Can you start to hear that I sound a little bit bunged up? I think it is definitely hay fever situation, and I've never taken anything for hay fever before, because I feel like if I start taking stuff, maybe it'll get worse, I don't know, is that a thing? Um, yeah, I've always just sort of like waited for it to pass. But yeah, I feel a bit bunged up and a bit scratchy around the throat, um, so I think it may well be that. Anyway, um, yeah, nice little buttons on here too. They're kind of like wooden almost. I think that's really nice. And this is again, is like very similar to the one I'm wearing actually. This is from River Island and really nice for summer just to wear with anything and smart enough that you can um, wear this out in the evening if you're away on holiday and you could definitely wear that throughout the day as well. So yeah, really nice pieces they've got next at the moment. I am very very impressed. And then we have this jacket, and again I really like the colour of this one too. It's not something that I would ever go for, if I saw this in a shop I'd probably bypass it just because it's so kind of plain and simple, it probably just wouldn't catch my eye and end up coming home with me, but now I've tried it on I really like it. It's just nice and simple with the poppers going down it. A couple of pockets, and these pockets um, you can put your hands in from the side as well as from the top here which I thought was a nice touch. You know if you're just going for an evening walk with the summer breeze and 
you know, you're just strolling around and you want to pop your hand somewhere, you can. Um, yeah, I do like a pocket like that. And then zip up as well, so you can um, obviously use the poppers, but it also zips up too. And yeah, really nice kind of um, simple fabric as well. And I've got this in a size large, it's regular fit. Um, so yeah, I'll link any of these that I can find on the website in the description box if you're interested. And then finally, a couple of bits in the bag, and I'll show you the inside of the bag. Some sunnies, so they sent over these ones, which are quite large. I quite like a large um, pair of sunglasses because I feel like, obviously they just block out more sunlight, don't they? And especially if I'm sunbathing, the bigger the better. <laughs> Should we just try them on quickly? What do we think? Yeah, they're quite big, aren't they? But I quite like it. Yeah, especially if you're um, like reading or you know you just want to sunbathe and shut your eyes for 10 minutes, which is what I want to do now, let's face it. <laughs> Honestly, I should have had like a Red Bull or something before filming this video. Anyway, we're going to go with the chill vibes today. I hope you're having a relaxing time, whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe this evening if you're watching this as this one goes live. Hope you're having a good week so far. Um, and also they've sent over some moisturiser. This is um, Peptide Moisturiser from the Inky List. I've never heard of this brand before. It just says to use a pea-sized amount on face and neck. I use more than a pea-sized amount normally, to be honest with you. I normally use a pea-sized amount per cheek and per forehead. Per forehead, I've only got one forehead. And um, on my neck, I kind of, yeah, I'll end up kind of using at least four pea-sized amounts. Am I using too much? I don't know, I just like to slather it on. It smells nice, it smells kind of like that classic face cream kind of smell. Yeah, and it's gone on quite nicely. It feels a little bit kind of borderline sticky, but actually it's going on quite nicely. And it's almost looking like it's got a bit of a mattifying effect going on there. So yeah, I'll look forward to trying that out. I've never heard of this brand before. Um, but it feels nice and it says helps reduce the visible signs of ageing. So yeah, I look forward to using that. And then we have another product here. This is Replica um, Maison Margi Margiela, I think it is. Um, this is an Eau de Toilette spray and um, we've got 30ml here. And this is a really interesting concept because um, these fragrances they are the reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. So I really like this idea. Um, and this one is the replica of um, the scents meant to be originally a jazz club from Brooklyn 2013. And the description of the fragrance is heady cocktails and cigars. And the style is memory in a fragrance. I love that idea as a kind of concept. I think fragrance does whisk us back to different memories, doesn't it? Oh, the bottle is beautiful, look at that. How nice is that bottle? That's so cool, I love the little kind of string detail around there. Let's give that a little. Ooh, very sweet when it first goes on, which I wasn't expecting. Oh, I wish I could spray it so you could smell it. As in, <laughs> I won't spray it because I'll just spray it into the lens. I wish I could spray it so you could um, smell it through the screen that you're watching this. Oh, that's good. I guess the sweetness is kind of the cocktails. You know if you've got like a, oh, what's that? Like an old fashioned or like something with like a cherry in it. It's got that kind of smell going on, that kind of sweet, sweet kind of, yeah, almost like a cherryish kind of smell. I'm definitely getting that woody kind of they describe it as cigars. Yeah, that kind of woody, smoky. Oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. I think it's more of an evening scent, but um, yeah, that is lovely. I wonder what the uh, notes are. I wonder if it says what they're on the box. I can't see them. I'll link this product as well um, if I can find it in the description box because I recommend. That is gorgeous. Thank you, Next, for those. They are lovely bits and I'll be making good use of all of these throughout the summer, apart from the socks, <laughs> which I'll be putting away for 
the autumn. And then Rotary very kindly asked me if I'd like to choose a watch from their new collection. And they've got some really fab watches. If you're looking to treat somebody or if you're looking for a new watch yourself, they come in a box like this. And I chose this one because I really like the simple design of it, but also for summertime, I really liked this narrow strap on it. It just feels like quite lightweight, like you're not wearing too much. There we go, pop it on so you can see. And yeah, just a really nice simple black strap on there and then the silver metal work. I thought that was really, really nice. So yeah, I'll link this one or just the um, site so you can have a look through and I'll, I'll tell you which one this one is. Um, down in the description too in case you're interested or as I say I think this would make a really lovely gift for somebody and it feels like you're not wearing a watch you know which I quite like in the summertime really lightweight and yeah not not um getting in the way of doing anything and I'll be doing lots of things today I've got quite the list um as it's bank holiday Monday I like to get a few jobs ticked off um while my inbox isn't busy it's always nice to um get a few jobs done around the house and lots has been happening, so I will be updating you soon. These stairs are slowly starting to be painted. I've been um, covering the knots on the stairs. I've also been um, looking at the um, ensuite bathroom. The tiles should be ready for that soon, so I will get that makeover underway. And yeah, just um, having a big old sort out and get this lot put away and do some cleaning probably today because that is due, but then I'm going to get out into the sunshine, get myself a nice coffee, I think, and just relax for the rest of this Bank Holiday Monday. So if you were off on Bank Holiday Monday, um, at the time of watching this, it's probably going to be, when I put this up? Tuesday. Um, yeah, I hope you had a good day yesterday, um, whatever you got up to. So am I putting this up tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need that coffee. Um, what else do I have to tell you? Oh yeah, um, I had a really fun episode of Unpacked um, Lunch on... Friday, so I'm gonna pop that segment in at the end of the video in case you're interested because there's some really good bargains in it first of all and it was just really really fun so I'll pop that on to the end of the video and if you've got a spare moment please do vote for us in the um, end for the NTAs the National Television Awards so Steph's Pack Lunch and Sort Your Life Out have both been nominated or put onto the long list to be nominated for a National Television Award and we're trying to get them onto the shortlist um, by getting votes. So if you have a spare moment, please take a moment to vote for the NTAs. Um, I'll link that down below. And also the B Creator Awards are back for this year. They were formerly the Blogosphere Awards that you may remember I hosted with Luke a couple of years ago. Please um, also vote for your favorite creators. Those ones close on the 1st of June. So I think you've only got today that you're watching this and maybe tomorrow, I think, to get your votes in, but it's a really nice way of getting your favorite creators recognized by the industry. So if you fancy doing that, you can um, click the link in the description box too and cast your votes. There's loads and loads of different categories for all different kinds of creators. So whoever your favorites are, there'll be categories that you can nominate them in. I've done all my votes already. It's just a nice way to, yeah, pop some recognition towards your favorite creators who you watch on the internet or who you follow on social media. Um, so that would be much appreciated. Um, do click the links to both of those in the description box if you have got the time to vote and you can skip categories. So if you're wanting to just get straight through to the, oh, what is it? It's best daytime for Steph's Pack Lunch and it's features, I think, for Sort Your Life Out. I'm pretty sure it's features. Um, then yeah, get voting. And with um, B Creator Awards, lots of different categories again, but you can just select to just vote for creators as opposed to, I think there's other categories that are like uh, creators with brands and another one, I've forgotten. But yeah, you can just skip, so it shouldn't take you too long if you have got a spare moment. And it's always so appreciated. I just appreciate you for being here and watching my videos. So big thumbs up if you made it to the end. Um, drop me a comment if anything that I showed you today caught your eye, um, if any of these bits you fancy getting for yourself. Um, and yeah, let me know um, what you're up to this week. How did you spend the bank holiday yesterday? That's what I would like to know. Were you working? Were you in the garden? Were you out doing some shopping, maybe um, you're getting some jobs done and ticked off as well. Um, let me know what you got up to. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I've got an exciting day tomorrow. I am meeting up with Luke and we're heading to 
um, the antiques there. So we're going to go for a nice browse. Hopefully the sun will be shining again tomorrow and I'll be vlogging that and that will be with you on Sunday. So lots to look forward to. Um, do stay tuned for that one. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And yeah, big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. We've come outside now because, well, why not? The sun's gorgeous out here, isn't it? And the birds are singing and Mr. Carrington's been bargain hunting. You've got some deals to help celebrate the bank holiday and I've already started eating one of them. Yeah, are you enjoying that? Mm, nice, cool. isn't it? Yeah, well, I thought the ice cream van can get a little bit pricey, can't it? You yeah. hear that music, you think I'm going to be spending at least a tenner by the time we've got down there. So I thought I would get us a nice little item to save us some money on our ice lollies. And this is from The Range and Ooh. it's £1.49 which I thought was a really good price for these. As you can see, it's this really nice watermelon design. So all you need to do is throw some squash in there if you want to do it really cheap, make some nice lollies. Or you could do fruit juice. I was thinking as well, we could do layers. Yeah. You know, like those rocket lollies used to get. It'd take it different... if you did layers, wouldn't it? Well, I suppose you'd be in and out. It takes about eight hours to freeze these. So pop them in first thing or maybe do them overnight. But yeah, nice little. I like the fact they're quite sturdy, mm -hmm. which is useful. Stop you don't feel like you're going to get rippage, yeah? Yeah, exactly. you don't like rippage. Like mm. mm. Do you want to talk about the picnic mm. basket? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just really enjoying that. Yeah. We are here to work. I know, I know, I'm forgetting because it's so nice out here. So, this I spotted down at Home Bargains for the bargain price of 6 99 So this is a collapsible picnic basket. It's made with this really nice aluminium handle and it's got the aluminium frame so quite sturdy and I feel like we're going to get quite a lot in here so it's got collapsible so it yeah. folds down into a tiny little exactly. slim thing well insulated so this is going to keep food hot or cold so chill things or put warm ah. things in there for about three to five hours so and I reckon if you put your um, freezer packed in there as well it would keep things like the ice lollies from melting yeah, it's got this good little system in it, hasn't it? Yeah. To hold it together. Yeah, just two bits it. of wire. It's like a little bit of wire that. Oh then yeah, there. Pull them up, and then look. Ah, Packs yeah. up like that, so because, good for the car. Yeah, because yeah. storage in the house uh, as well, just to. Yeah, because you don't want a big like picnic basket lying around. Yeah. Um, well, I do like a hamper. Yeah. <laughs> but for six ninety nine, this also comes in a nice black and white design as well if you didn't want something colourful. And then, yeah, pop that in your boots or if you're off on your travels, and then it's like, bam, good to go. It's a bit loaded. How long do you take your practice in that? All morning. Yeah. You know what so, I mean? <laughs> okay, so that's from yeah. Home Bargain. Yeah, I love that. What else have you got? Well, we are sitting at this very nice bistro set, Steph. And we have this table and the two chairs for $49.99 from Studio, which I thought was a really good price. I thought this looked rather nice with the kind of rust colour on here. Yeah. Tempered glass on the tabletop here, Steph. So that's yeah. nice and robust that's going to last us and you can leave it outside and these are pvc coated as yeah, well so they're not going to rust from very.co.uk yeah what did i say studio but you know, myself. they might have it as well <laughs> but very yeah. yeah yeah this is lovely and again i mean i don't know why i'm using sturdy again but it is well so. with these sort of chairs you don't want them to be rickety do you you know when you sit on them you want to feel like they're going to support you and also they're foldable too so if you have got a small balcony which i think this would be perfect for we can just do that and then hang it up, put some hooks up maybe, then they're tucked out of the way. Like yeah, nice, aren't they? Yeah, yeah very good. Yeah, colour's good. Right, um, you've got some outdoor cushions, I see, as well. Yeah, a bit of extra comfort. Asda have got a good sale at the moment. They've got 20% off lots of outdoor items, and I spied these cushions. These are suitable for indoors or outdoors, and these are down to £5.60. Comes in eight different colours, and some of them are reduced. So these ones are down from £7. And yeah, I like the rust or tan, mm -hmm. I would call that. Nice stripes. I feel like this is quite timeless. So once you've bought some of these, you can bring them out year after year. It's not too trend led. Is there a different pattern on the back? Yeah, what do you yeah. think? Nice. So you just fit them around. They have got different colours, but some are in the sale and some aren't. Have a little look on Asda's website. And they come with the padding as well, which is good. Oh, yes. And I thought tan colour, so if I put it on my leg, it won't change anything if it rubs off. Ah, very good. That's tanning we've all been doing today. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you've been attracting the birds as well. I can't help myself, Steph. Look at this. How nice is this? Down at Robert Dias. This is down to 19 99 this fab bird feeder. It was 39 99 Easy to assemble, just a few screws in here. And I thought maybe we'd put a few cut hooks on this, hang some more feeders on it, 
I like the fact. It's sturdy. Stop saying that word. <laughs> <laughs> it is though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And also I like the fact that you can move it around the garden. So if the birds aren't enjoying where you put it, you could move it somewhere else. And change their view for them. Yeah. And look at this. So you can pop your peanuts in there or your um, sliced apple, whatever you like. You've got the um, space here for the birds that like to just peck. Yeah. Good to go. Where's that from? That's from Robert Dyers. Very good. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I yeah. would put a nice um, stain on that, but I haven't had time this morning. Oh. A stain? Oh, you mean to colour it? Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, okay, okay. Let's not start talking about stains, Steph. What have we got now? Inflatable pool. I know. <laughs> How did you forget that? <laughs> I know, right? So this is from Studio, and this is £25, come on. Wow. This was 50 25 quid for bank. It's like a swimming pool that you can have in your garden. And this part is all you need to inflate, just the ring at the top. Oh, thank God, because I know. that is a pain. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that will make the whole thing rise up like this, and then you just fill it up with water. So I thought that was really good, nice and robust. Inflate in the top, make it rise like that? It doesn't. Or is it put putting the water, water in? in? Yeah, it's a combination of the two. Right. Because once that's inflated, it sort of stretched out like a circle, which brings it up. And have you been in? Yeah, a little dip. Excellent. Nice. It's not as freezing, isn't it? It's a bit chilly. Yeah. We are in Leeds, but, <laughs> but we move. <laughs> and tell me about these glasses. I spy are... these. Oh, and I yeah. These your street. So, you know Katie Loxton? Yes, who does the lovely accessories. And yeah, the nice in, um, pouches. Stationery with the... and all that kind of Yeah. Like. So, I spotted on their website they actually have an outlet. So, go on that section. They've got some good bargains, including these sunglasses. Now, mine are down to £9 oh, from £29.99. Nice. Yeah, no, good day. Yours? Nice 70% saving on these. I like How the gold detail. Nine quid? Nine quid. Oh, that's worth it, isn't it? And these ones are down to £15, and these are £29.99 as well, so half price for these ones. These look like where they kind of brighten things as well. Do you feel like they're sturdy? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these ones are definitely yeah. sturdy. <laughs> good, yeah. Excellent, thought, right? Thought, yeah, they'll be going in your bag, won't they? Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna... Well, I'm done now. That's my job done, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Are you building up You have to go back to work. I'm just gonna go in the pool now. Are you actually getting yeah. it? Yeah. I just want everybody to know that it does fit quite a few adults. Just me. Just lovely. Yeah. It's really nice. It's not cold at all, Steph. How far are you going in? Oh. That's so relaxing. Yeah, Steph. keep trying to pretend you're yeah. comfortable. Yeah, just knocking up a little cocktail inside and be yeah. happy in half an hour. Do you want the thermal blanket? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken my glasses off, I can't see anything. Oh. Hello, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. It's good for uh, splashing. Is it? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Still to come, Ruby's in the kitchen with a tiramisu, and we're taking another look at what's making the news. <laughs> <laughs> see ya.